On this edition of Diecast and Porn, we're going to be taking a look at the Diecast Masters Transport Series, International Lone Star Sleeper with Skeletal Trailer and 40-Foot Dry Goods Container. So this truck will soon be hitting retailer shelves at the end of December and early January. So the International Lone Star is certainly a unique-looking truck, and it has a couple of interesting features. The trailer is also a nice casting, and the container is offered in a bunch of different company liveries. And the one that's included with this set is, the, of course, the China shipping livery. So let's go ahead and take a look at the whole set first. This is how it looks fully assembled with the trailer and the tractor hooked up and, of course, with the shipping container on it. Uh, as you can see, it's mostly a die cast set. What is plastic is the shipping container that is almost entirely made of plastic. But it does feature a lot of high-end graphics that really appear quite well such as these warning labels, the DOT striping all around it look great. Go ahead and take it off here. Get a closer look at it. On the back, you can see China shipping, as well as max gross weight, and a couple other information. And the doors do open on all of these trailers. So you could theoretically put um, freight inside of that if you do have it in 1 to 50 scale. And these doors do close easily as well. It's pretty symmetrical on the other side as well. Again, you have the DOT striping underneath. On the underside of these castings, there's four holes, two on each side, and that's how they are affixed to both the trailer and also to each other. So just like you would see in a real shipping yard or on a container ship, they stack these and um, they actually include the knobs, so you can install knobs to stack these on top of each other. So there is the shipping container, very well done. Here's the front of it as well. There is a small graphic on the bottom right which reads Caution 96 High Container, and China Shipping on the front. So there is the shipping container. Let's take a look at the skeletal trailer next. Take it off of the truck. You can lower the landing legs if you want to position this trailer not hooked up to the truck, and it will sit level on the ground just like that. It has some very good-looking chrome hubs on the wheels. On the back, you have lights and rubber mud flaps. Again, your DOT striping along all of the trailer. There are some lights here which are done up by painted graphics, which look good. But one very interesting aspect of this trailer that I want to draw your attention to, if you look right here where the uh, kingpin would go into the fifth wheel on the tractor, you can actually move this by unscrewing it into one of these predetermined holes. So depending on what tractor you want to hook it up, say you don't, for example, want to hook it up to the tractor that comes with the set, you can actually move this by simply unscrewing it and putting it in one of the other three uh, predetermined holes. The wheels have a very realistic tread pattern on them, and it is a obviously a three-axle trailer. But besides the landing legs and the rubber tires, everything else on this trailer is made of die cast. It's very nicely done and looks great. So that's a look at the trailer. Next, we'll take a look at the International Lone Star Cab. So it has the set forward axle. It's got a sleeper cab on it. Here is the aforementioned fifth wheel. This doesn't appear as though that it slides forward or backward, and I'm not going to force it. On the back of the sleeper, if you can... I can draw your attention to right here. It may be a little bit difficult to see, but the international name is actually embossed in the back of the die-cast cab, and that looks really good, just like you would see on the Lone Star cab. The chrome tanks and steps look excellent. You have Lone Star here. Your mirrors and lights all look great, but perhaps the iconic look of the Lone Star trucks is of the front end and the grill, and that's captured very well in this 1 to 50 scale, and it stands out particularly in this red color. Also, the hood does open to reveal a detailed engine inside, and there are some other components inside there as well. With this set, you get three different types of exhaust stacks. So you can have these, you can have vertical stacks, and you can obviously have another different type of stacks if you want. I just put these stacks on for sake of the review. 
And an also good thing to see with any of these trucks is that both of the doors do open. And they do reveal a detailed interior inside. And it's certainly an impressive truck. Underneath, there's also a respectable amount of detail. You can see an engine. You can also see the drive shaft components, different tanks. There's also uh, different tread on the rear axles versus the front axles, or the front axle, excuse me. And there is a great range of steering. So even though it may look like it falls foul of the wheel arches, it doesn't. So you can set a pretty, pretty realistic steering angle uh, if you want to pose your truck doing that. All right, so let's put this set back together here. Now, I already showed you the China shipping container. Now, you can also get four other company container colors from Diecast Masters. Uh, the next you can get is Text, which is the red container. So there's how that one looks. Just, of course, has text on it, but it's this red, reddish-brown color on the back, or on, or on this particular container. Uh, again, all of these doors do open on this. Next, we have uh, what appears to be OOCL. I'm not really familiar with that particular company. I've never seen this container in the real world, but it's more of a white color container. Uh, these are all dry goods containers that we're looking at currently. The next is Evergreen. It's a nice green color. Really stands out, looks good. And this is a different green uh, than the China Shipping Green. There you can get a good comparison of the two. Evergreen is a much brighter green color. And then finally, say hi to Captain Phillips. You can have the Maersk container. Uh, if you didn't get that reference, go watch Captain Phillips the movie. Or better yet, read the book. Actually, read the book first. So, uh, those are the dry goods containers. Uh, you can also get two 40-foot refrigerated sea containers. The first is the Maersk, or Maersk. And the main difference is you have, obviously, a refrigerated element on the front of these, which is a nice detail. Um, this is also a whiter color than the, than, the other, than the standard dry goods Maersk. That's more of a gray color. So that adds some variety and uh, differentiates between the two. As does the other dry goods or excuse me, the other refrigerated one that you can get from Evergreen. There's the look at that refrigerated element on the back of that one. Here's how it looks on the trailer. So that is the Evergreen refrigerated 40-foot uh, unit. This is the Evergreen dry goods unit, and you can see that they kind of did a reverse out of the colors. What was green on this one is white and vice versa. So overall, this set from Diecast Masters is extremely nice, and everything is in 1 to 50 scale. It is part of their transport series, and again, the container that does come with the set is the 40-foot 40, uh, 40 China shipping one. In this set, you do get, and I don't want to forget this because I know you guys would want to see this, and it is worth taking a look at, you do get a new catalog of their transport series, and it shows you the international trucks that you've been accustomed to seeing, such as these, um, the Western Star trucks that many of you guys have seen, but also the tractor-trailer sets with the new Freightliner Cascadias and the International Lone Star sets. So definitely a cool catalog to look at, as well as the upcoming uh, Lowboy sets that should be available in the first quarter of 2020. Here are all the different uh, containers that I told you guys about. So definitely a cool catalog. This is the packaging for the set. There's a picture of the truck. There is the top of it, item number 71045. And on the back, you have some pictures of other truck sets in the transport series, and then also 
some information on the Lone Star truck itself. So there you go, guys. That is a review of the Lone Star International Lone Star Sleeper with Skeletal Trailer and 40-foot dry goods container. This particular Lone Star obviously is in red. It is offered in a couple different other colors, which we will be taking a look at in this channel in the near future. But the red one is what is included in this set. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. And until next time, guys, be safe, take care. We'll see you soon.